welcome back to another video. My name is Camster95 or Cameron. Uh, today we are doing a BJD tag. We love a good tag video in this community. Uh, this is the BJD Faves and Features, where uh, we go through different companies, um, creators that we uh, ourselves like to view, and we put them out there so you guys can find them as well. Alright, so let's start this off. Um, first one is doll companies. So, I don't own a ton of dolls, um, but I have a few. So, um, Sol is here. He is a, uh, Dollitz DAD body. He is a hybrid. And then the head is from Mod Doll. You can find her on Etsy. Uh, she has a lot of custom sculpts, which are beautiful. Uh, highly recommend. And they're not, like, super, super pricey. I want to say they're, like, 150 like, and for a, you know, SD17 size head that's, like, beautifully sculpted, not a bad price in my opinion. Um, I also have my doll Chateau Lillian. She is my fave. Good little, cute little Pegasus unicorn moment. Um, I have my ring doll Tangy. She is really cute. I don't play with her a lot. She's more just, like, she sits there and looks pretty because... <laughs> She's in a very precarious position, and if I move her at all, I will never get her back in it. So that's like, oh, uh, whatever. And then I have uh, my girl. I have my, um, things are falling. That's okay. I have my dolly, Joka. She's one of my babes. Love her. She's my, she's my doll that I do all my creative stuff with. Like, she's my doll I get to do face-ups on and, like, practice body blushing and like stuff like that she's my mess up doll i guess you can say she's the one i mainly grabbed on all right and uh next up we have wig brands i um don't have a lot of wigs obviously my big boy is a baldy and then her wig i got for free from a doll meet so i'm not quite sure um who made it but I do have two wig people that I follow on Instagram who make gorgeous wigs who I am super interested in getting a wig for um Lorna by uh they are BB doll I-B-I-D-O-L the reason I'm staying away from this side is because I'm gonna put their stuff right here so EB doll here's like a couple pictures of like the wig she makes um and then moderately vivid um, I actually have met Moderately Vivid at a convention. He is so super nice. He actually taught a class on, uh, making wigs. So, like, he brought the wealths in, and then, like, he taught you how to, like, make a basic wig, which was super fun. Yeah, good time. Uh, he makes phenomenal wigs. Recommend. Alright, uh, next up is Clothes Makers. So my first one is Safara BJD Tailoring. You're actually gonna hear her come up a couple times because I love her. She's the one making his new clothes that I have coming in November and she does phenomenal tailoring. I'm talking like mind blowing, like she gets in there with the details. Like y'all can see her Instagram right here. It is crazy the amount of like, detail and work and effort she puts into every piece and she cranks these out and she loves what she like loves her job which I love that I love you can see the passion in the work phenomenal 10 out of 10 um there is also Corey Carousel which I have two pieces by from back when Lorna went through her goth phase um she has this cute little Wednesday Adams dress and then just a nice little plain black shirt. Because you can never not, like, need a plain black shirt. You can put that with anything. But yeah, the, both of the clothings are very, like, well-made, like, well-stitched together. They got stretched to them, which is always nice. Because it kind of gives you a little bit more to work with when it comes, like, to different size dolls. So, yeah. She also makes great uh, clothing. Her thing is, yo, her shop isn't always open. She makes things in batches. And then she opens and closes her Etsy shops as her batches come in, like as she like goes through her batches. So you'll have to keep an eye on her shop to see when it's open again. Do recommend her though. Obviously, it'll be right here. Alright, uh, 
face-up artist. So my all-time favorite face-up artist is the one I actually got to do Solis's face-up and I'm so happy I did because I do not think she takes commission anymore. Um, she has like uh, wrist problems and doing so many commissions was like aggravating her wrist where she can't really do it anymore. But his face-up was made by her, which it is beautiful. I'm sad though because it is starting to chip because it is like a few years old and I would love to get it done by her again, but obviously not an option, but oh well. But uh, it is like, <laughs> it's a weird one to pronounce. It's uh, Walta Waltian, W-L-A-T-I-A-N. I will put it right here, Waltian. So where was I? Uh, basic artist, so Waltian right here, beautiful. Sorry, we had an interruption, so rude. But, um, I also like Lily Who. I found her on Instagram, like, a few weeks ago, and I'm, like, obsessed with her face-ups. Like, beautiful. Lily Who. Highly recommend. I don't know if she does commissions, but just a beautiful to look at, honestly. Um, then we got VJD YouTubers. Um, I don't watch, watch like a ton of VJD YouTube. The one I used to watch a lot was Pint Size Palace. She is no longer in the game though. She has uh, since stepped away from the hobby. Ooh, excuse me. But uh, there is a Lovely Day who makes really nice videos. She's like very continuously, content, well, frequent on her updates. Like she's very steady once a week. She's fun to watch. And then, um, Miss Blue Kitty. I don't think she really has an upload schedule. I think she just, like, puts out videos as she makes them. And she cranks them out pretty fast. So if you like having, like, a constant, um, constant flow of videos, Miss Blue Kitty's normally pretty good about that. She'll put, like, a good amount out. And then, uh, there's Chaos World 60. Um, I actually found her through an Apple podcast, surprisingly. Now, the podcast isn't the best, like, sound quality, so, like, I can only listen to it for so long, but her YouTube videos are pretty good, so do recommend. She also uh, just put out a tag video that I will be doing later. Uh, I will be wearing the same outfit for it. Wow. <laughs> we cranking out videos now. But, uh, yeah, Chaos World 60. She's a fun one. And then, um, Resin Melody. Uh, Resin Melody is actually someone I know from my Orlando BD BJD group. Um, she's a super swell person. She is just, like, so nice and welcoming and, like, so ready to help you in the BJD community. And I know she's been talking about wanting to put out a lot of, like, info videos on how to do things. So if there's anything, like, newer people or even older people that you're not sure how to do, I would definitely drop her a message or a comment in one of her videos because I know she was said she was looking for different recommendations on different like videos she can do and I'm sure she'll look into it because she is awesome. Highly recommend. Cool. And then, uh, ooh, we long winded today. Uh, BJD Instagrams. So, um, on Instagram a ton. I do go on it just to kind of like scroll through, but I don't really add a ton of new people. So, um, once again, a lot of the people you'll be hearing is a lot of people I've said uh, on previous portions of this tag because I, I'm a loyal, I'm a loyal person. I like my people. <laughs> but, um, Meek Stall is a good one. Uh, she has really like grungy looking dolls that are just really like I don't know, they're like just super intriguing to look at, like, just uh, just the way she does some of the like blushing on their faces, they just look like, I don't know, recommend. Love Meek doll. And then, um, Safar, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Safar BJD, um, this is the girl who does the clothes, the tailoring. She has her tailoring Instagram and then she has her personal BJD Instagram just for her dolls. Um, I follow both because <laughs> they're both fun to look at. So, um, she's a fun one, too. She has a lot of fun dolls. She takes her dolls on holiday with her when she goes, so she gets a lot of good pictures that way. So, she's a fun one. And then, um, again with this name, Walatian, the one who did Solus's face up. Um, she has a lot of beautiful dolls. Like, when I say I was obsessed with her face ups when I first got into her hobby, I was obsessed. 
like she has her dolls she has a story for her dolls that you can read like she updates it consistently um, so if you guys like a good like drama story check out her Instagram and in her bio she has like the link to her story and it is a fun read well not a fun read but it's like a good read recommend and then um there is Lu Lucia uh, she is another one that has a lot of fun dolls like she has like this like witch doctor and she has like this dude who's like tatted to the nines with like a skull face and then she has um her favorite doll my, her favorite doll my favorite doll of hers is Crispin and he's like this like mind boy with like a scar he's really cute she just has a lot of really like put together fun dolls and she does a lot of perspective play so it looks like her and the dolls will be like the same size which is always like a cool thing and then um then there's uh julia cross 666 uh once again just intriguing fun dolls to look at um she has like this one doll who's got like he's like white with like long white hair and it's just like very fantasy i think he's elf an elf doll i can't remember but just like i don't know they're fun to look at i do love and then there's a wicked gentleman you'll see a <laughs> you'll be, see see i like a a certain like variety of doll i guess i like them like moody like very intriguing looks like I, I'm, I'm personally like a very artistic person so like I like something that like my eye can like flow around and find a bunch of different stuff even if it's just like all white like you can still play with that a lot I love it I love how people like customize some of their dolls beautiful and then uh there is Michael Zab Zabjok um he is Russian I believe uh, he's just a Russian doll maker like he doesn't make these for the community to sell he just makes them for like museums and stuff and he posts like the process he goes through making all of his dolls and it is so interesting like it's just really cool to watch and he makes a lot of like cool dolls fun watch right there okay and then um dolls owned by me we talked about them earlier when we went through the uh doll companies i recommend but yeah um these are all my my peeps not much more to say on them i already talked about them earlier and then uh dolls owned by others so like i've said uh crispin by lou lucia is really really cute i love his like entire aesthetic um there is stevie by cory cory carousel the clothes maker her doll stevie is very much like glasses like straight fun hair like she's just very much like has a look she's a vibe and an aesthetic i wish i could achieve but like it's not an aesthetic i can rock she's fun and then um my last one is dominic by um <laughs> i need to learn how to pronounce her thing i put it in like almost every category i feel like it's a Wallatilian, whatever, but you know, the person who did Solus's face up. Um, her character Dominic is very like, I don't know, he's just nice to look at. You know, when you just see like a handsome doll, he's just a handsome doll. So he's a fun one, love him. Okay, and that is the tag. She is done. So I think everyone should take part in this tag in the comments below, well, not the comments below, but in the description below, I will put all the um, questions, well not really questions, but all the different categories. So if you guys want to play along at home, you can. And then uh, post your video. We'd love to hear more about your dolls. So um, let me grab my little remote. Till next time, y'all. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye.